Welcome. Not here. You can't hide forever. Oh. Finally. What is that? What the fuck is that? Generally, effects are just spelled out for you. Literally. But sometimes. What the fuck are you doing to me? He's got like a suck move? It's pretty obscure. What does that do to me? And, and, why do I have a, like an RPG status effect? And some are so hidden that not even the game wikis can save you now. So in no particular order. Here we go. Unlike Bloodborne spiders, the S2 spiders can actually web ya. It's pretty rare. And surprisingly harsh. No rolling and slows. Thankfully, it only lasts approx 4 seconds. It's blockable. It also slows stamina regeneration. These webs are also used by... The giant enemy spider. <laughs> Pretty obvious, eh? They work identically. Just watch out for that combo. The boss weapon gives you a weakened version, sadly. But the OG Webster is, of course, the Armored Spider. It's basically the same. Even the combo. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, yo! No stamina loss, but way more annoying. And blocking does nothing. These also come in glorious HD. Just look at them web physics. So up next we got Tennis Man of Volleyball. Not many people know that the S2 has oil. Oh no. Did I hear oil? Only one mob can use them. A little bit more olive oil. Just don't light a torch. Some pots make oil pools. It can't oil you. But it can ignite. Oh, that spots. Good to know. The Rotten is the only boss who oils. So tread carefully. Oh no. I'm burning! Bloodborne also has that oil. It gets an icon. Of something? It might look like water. But it has that rainbow sheen. Nice. It lasts 30 seconds. And doubles fire damage on the next hit only. Apart from that, it's completely harmless. Go f yourself. And despite these rare made visuals, they're just for show. It works the same as the OG. Up next. I see. This one just doubles damage taken for one minute. 
simple. The hidden effect is tinnitus. It's also the only one where the game explains the effect precisely. Why are my ears bleeding? Ooh. Wax on, wax off. Wax can only be applied by the lit scholars. And the locust boys surprisingly. It has two levels. Stage 1 wrecks your fire resist. Stage 2 amps this and slows for 6 seconds. Reapplying wax resets the timer. Locust wax only has one stage. It comes with a weaker slow. Design wise. I'm not sure why wax reduces fire resist. They have no fire attacks. And these little dudes. Attacks barely have any fire scaling. I even made a 100% fireproof hat to confirm this. Just look out for those 100% fire bombs, I guess. Who codes this crap? I am the great mighty Boo, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. A huge supply of fish comes from my chocolate starfish. How about some sketch, you little twat? I mean leeches. It's easier to tell in the remake. This effect is exclusive to the leech monger. It lasts 6 seconds and drains health. It doesn't slow. You can still sprint and roll. I noticed some things that no wiki mentions. The leeches reduce your healing by half. Check how weak this gold grass is. And how it should be. They must be secretly vegetarian. It makes crescent grass useless. But more importantly, being in the water gives you leech pants. It just does minor damage. And since we're here, let's finish up the Demon Soul stuff. Oh, no, not the beast! Oh, no, my eyes! Ah! Actually, it's flies. I have no idea. Why my grandson thought otherwise? Uh, yeah. I can't be the only one who thought this was a giant beehive. I probably was. They deal a lot of damage over 10 seconds. While it's hard to tell due to the damage, these dudes also reduce your healing by exactly half. Some wikis say you can burn away the flies. Not in the remake at least. I've finally caught you out at last blue point. Now die. This is easily the one I tested out the most. Only these janitors in Castle Kinghurst can apply this mark. It lasts 10 seconds. So what is this even? Well, after some research, 
It's the symbol of the corruption rune. Just don't ask me why. So after many tests, with the rune equipped and unequipped, with every creature I can reach, it just makes them ghosties mad. They have no chill. They'll chase you down, and have a more aggressive move set. It's not a big deal. I mean... What are you gonna do? Stab me. Yes, this sign brands the undead. There's a lot of confusion regarding these dudes on the wikis. The jailers use poorly named branding irons. Being branded lasts six seconds. It's got an icon. It reduces healing by 20%. Not a big deal. When compared to the player version, which lasts 15 seconds. What is scary, is that it makes you slow roll. But since I've started now, these particles are caused by the health drain laser vision. And the tear gas, gas just smells. Will you stand the smelly smells? Or will you puke into the toilet? Gas, 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 gas. The gas will start flowing. Gas. It is now time for crab. This one is simple. It just makes you slow walk for about five seconds. Although you can still run and roll. How useless. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> Stepping back into the F2. To remind us why we should stay hydrated. Who could have thought that water could stop fire damage? Any water will do. Like rain. Far off pools. And tears. <coughs> it provides a whopping 300 fire resist. That's 30% less fire damage. It lasts an impressive 5 minutes. You can visually see it dry. This doesn't change the protection amounts though. Just be careful, since it also reduces lightning resistance by 15%. But I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh wait! Quite a few dudes can use the maggots. I'm sensing a theme. It slowly builds bleed for 80 seconds. Remove it early with either blood grass or a torch. The flies apply a much stronger version with damage over time. It doesn't last as long though. You are walking vomit! It's jelly time! Way in, way in day. The rarest one by far. There's only two of these squishy dudes in the entire game. And when killed, they don't respawn. How disappointing. 
since they got such unique moves. Anyways, the jelly lasts 15 seconds. Slows. You can roll and run normally. It drains HP at approx 2% per second. And reduces stamina regen. Maybe. After some testing I really can't tell. It's too small to really notice. It's like... Nothing at all! Nothing at all! Nothing at all! Also, the puke in the base game looks much cooler. Nice and chunky. And before you type that, I also test it out. Artorias is a Abyssal Sludge. Sadly, the Pocket Sludge does nothing. Uh, pocket sand. No! And that... covers just about everything. Pretty useless, eh? Here's hoping that Elden Ring... will have some of these returned. Otherwise... My oil stocks are screwed.